On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at some really awesome carbon wheels. These are the Bontrager Triple X 2 TLR road bike wheels. These are a clincher wheel set. They're also available in disc, but the ones we're looking at are clincher, and they run one of the lowest profile carbon rims from Bontrager set up with DT Swiss internal hubs. So they're going to be really awesome to take a look at. But before we do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So Bontrager has been making carbon fiber wheels for quite some time and these are some really awesome wheels. So just in the hand, I've got to imagine that these have to be one of the lightest wheel sets that I've taken a look at on this channel. And that's mostly because of this super low profile Aeolus Triple X2 rim. So this rim is made out of OCLV carbon fiber. That's Bontrager's proprietary carbon fiber layup. And they're gonna have a really neat setup. So the lacing pattern on these wheels is pretty unique, which this is actually gonna be set up as a 24 spoke wheel. And on the drive side, two cross setups. So you've got one cross and then your second cross there with 12 spokes on this side. And then on the non-drive side, 12 radial spokes. And the reason they do that is the radial spokes are definitely gonna help with a little bit shorter spoke length, gonna help save some weight. And then the drive side having this two cross setup is actually gonna help with power transfer as it goes forward. Now this hub set is incredibly nice. DT Swiss 240 internals. It's got a 36 tooth ratchet inside of here. And then the hub itself is going to be a carbon fiber shell. It is running all DT Swiss internals and you can see the branding right on the hub just for that. And then you cross that with Bontrager's Aeolus 2 rim. And this rim, their OCLV carbon, this is actually going to be 28 millimeters deep. And you'll see it's got what they call their laser control track. Now, uh, most of these marketing things, you'd certainly go, well, who knows if that actually works. But listen to this. Yeah, so there's so much actual texture there, and that's because they use a laser to etch into the brake track, and that allows for much better braking performance. Now on the inside of the rim, a tubeless ready profile, and it does that by installing these plastic strips that can actually clip into place, and it allows for an interface between the tire and the plastic rather than the rim. So they can have this nice shallow depth to the rim. It's double wall setup. You can actually see the cutouts for uh, the spoke nipples, which is nice because that's on every spoke. And it's gonna make for a super lightweight setup. Should you not wanna run tubeless, you don't have to put that strip in there. You can run just a normal rim strip. But with the strip, it's gonna make for a really easy rim to set up tubeless. Now, if we jump over to the front, it's mostly the same idea a carbon shelled DT Swiss internal Aeolus hub. This hub is super smooth rolling. And then this is gonna be set up with the same Bontrager Aeolus Triple X2 rim. So same rim on both of them, but now we're gonna be radio lacing both on drive and non-drive side. This is gonna have nine spokes each, so 18 in total. And it's neat that these wheels are assembled here in the US. They do come with the TLR strip they come with a valve for tubeless as well. They're also gonna come with a set of Black Prince brake pads. And because these are rim brake wheels, they do come with quick release skewers, which is a nice thing to see. And just overall, a pretty cool setup. So now it's time to find out exactly what these weigh on my scale. The front wheel on our scale is gonna come in at a crazy light 561 grams. And the rear wheel comes in on the scale at 713 grams. So that equals an insanely light 1,274 grams for these Bontrager Aeolus 2 wheels. Thanks for watching this video on the Bontrager Aeolus XXX2 wheels. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, Leave a thumbs up, it lets me know you enjoyed the video.